My name is Willie Crew, and I'm the global chairman of KPMG's Consumer Practice. Digital is vital uh, in, in retail today, and it's really how our retailers are adjusting to the omnichannel uh, environment. Um, and including that is data analytics. Uh, how are they analyzing and utilizing the prolific data that they've, uh, they've got right now? Um, probably their supply chain as well. Uh, how are they effectively managing and understanding their supply chain? And along with data analytics and data comes data security. I mean, we're seeing so many issues right now with data breaches that data security has to be at the top of the list for every CEO uh, in a retailer on this planet. Retailers have such a proliferation of, uh, of data today. And I would say that we are probably at its infancy of retailers understanding how to utilize that data appropriately. So um, there are new analytic trends. Uh, you see Amazon just recently got uh, the rights of patent to an app that is, takes predictive analytics to a whole new area, utilizing their data to predict uh, purchases going forward and actually shipping that product before the consumer even realizes they want to buy it. So that's a key element of where we're heading. These predictive analytics and various apps and technologies are trying to get one step ahead uh, for inventory management and for sales. It's a huge issue. It's not just a huge issue, I think, for the talent pool that you're bringing in through management, but it's a huge issue at the CEO suite. So you now have JCPenney, American Eagle, Target, all looking for CEOs. And their um, uh, difficulty is to find a CEO with both online and uh, bricks and mortar uh, experience, as well as the, the digital uh, element that, that's necessary in the omni-channel world that we live in. So that's a key element in the talent pool that is going to be a success going forward. Most companies and most retailers after 2008, 2009, focus very much on getting lean you know, helping their balance sheet uh, get to a point where they can survive, frankly, as much as just, uh, you know, grow. And I think the mindset for companies, not just retailers now, is really we need to grow and we need to, you know, to differentiate ourselves, we need to compete. So you can do, it's, they're not mutually exclusive concepts. You can still ensure that you're uh, efficient and effective and that your costs are really meeting your, your, your needs going forward. But I think the key for most retailers and companies is not to be myopic. You can't go through, grow through cost cutting. So you've got to make sure that you've got the appropriate investment still in your company and in, as a retailer to grow. And then with all the things that we're discussing about using technology, using data, using predictive analytics, um, you know, those are things that are going to differentiate you and help you to grow. But you've got to invest in those technologies. You can't just, you know, cost, cut costs because that will leave you behind. The element of brand is going to be, is more important today and is going to be tougher to maintain when you're in a world where the consumer has all the power and where the consumer has the ability to go through social media and utilize technology and understand pricing and understand competition, it's much harder today for retailers and, and consumer companies to keep their brand active. And they have to work much harder at it. They have to monitor social media. They have to understand what is being talked about their brand. They have to deal with negative impacts on a daily basis. And they've got to respect the brand equity that they've built up because you can lose it in a heartbeat. As much as things change, they, uh, you know, they, they stay the same. You've got to focus on your customer, and you've got to understand customer behavior and customer preferences. So to do that, you've got to have an appropriate omni-channel strategy. You've got to understand that uh, consumers today don't just operate in one channel, and you've got to make it seamless, and you've got to make it transparent for the, uh, the customer going forward. And you've got to have a customer experience in your bricks and mortar and you've got to be able to, to make it a seamless on your online to have the consumer want to buy from you. And so part of the, the, the challenge is to really get a consumer experience that makes a consumer want to come to your bricks and mortar, to be able to make it effective, efficient, to have free shipping or next day shipping, to be able to get it to the consumer on time, and to really engage with that consumer through all the channels that they are operating in. Just like in real estate, where the key to real estate is location, location, location. Notwithstanding all the things we've talked about, the proponents of, of digital technology, the omni-channel world, that probably we've moved more in the last five years than we have the 50 years prior, the fundamentals that ruled retail 100 years ago rule it today. And it's about the customer, the customer, and the customer.